to Main Town! You extinct! Oh my god. Hello people watching this right now. You might be wondering, where the fuck is Mamrie? Is she kidnapped? Is this a Liam Neeson movie? Actually, I am in my office that I share with Jocelyn Hughes from DIY Damn It. You might recognize her. And she is currently pimping this place out. Right now it's bare, but I tell you what. Paint samples, other stuff. She is going to make this place really cute, and then this is where I'm gonna start doing my videos. But I thought I would, uh, you know, just go ahead and do one right now to get settled in. The first thing I like to do to feel at home is open a beer. Mmm. Ooh! Refreshing. Look at these cute coasters I have. They're at this office. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking cute, y'all. I was wondering what I should do for today's Mame Town, and then it hit me like a ton of bricks in a very unfortunate construction accident. Why is that a phrase? I wanted to do what I haven't done in a while, and that is a $10 haul, y'all. For those of you who don't know, a $10 haul is where I take a crisp $10 bill, head over to the nearest podunk dollar store I can find and try to find the weirdest shit that makes me laugh. It's basically like a regular haul except uh, I spend way less money and I also make you feel way less bad about yourself because no one can be that perfect. <laughs> How much moisturizer could you need? No offense, I love a good beauty guru. I watch that shit like crazy. So let's see what I found on a bargain. The first thing I found is this weaving cap. It's really great. It's basically like fishnet stockings for your head to keep your hair in place, keep it flat. But my favorite part about this was the model from it. Something tells me that old Josie doesn't know that she's currently modeling a weave cap at a dollar store in Glendale, California. Or times are tough. Times are tough. Give this bad boy a test. I wouldn't want to suggest something to you guys that doesn't work. It works. If your head likes to pretend to be feet, it's a, uh, it's a great, this kind of hurts. <laughs> the next thing I found at the dollar store was a beautiful lipstick. Now, if you couldn't tell, this is actually a muted gray or silver. And I just thought this would really go along with, you know, the phenomenon of Fifty Shades of Grey. And it's just something a little out of the box, because no one likes to be in a box, right? Actually, I don't know what you're into. And it's already broke. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm. That looks... Wow. So since it's a nice silver color, I think it makes me look a little more refined, perhaps a little wiser. Um, I hope it's not made of like anthrax. Ooh, you can't just be looking good, you also need to be smelling good at all times. So luckily, this dollar store had a selection of different aromas and I decided to go with Lick me all over. I know what I want someone to smell like when I want to lick them all over. So here's to hoping this smells like pizza. <clears throat> Don't want to be disrespectful. Ugh. Lick me all over does not, I'm not putting this on my body. Perfect, I'm glad I looked because it said, avoid contact with eyes and skin. So, Lick me all over, but like from a distance. This one I'm excited about, cause Lord knows I work hard for the money and get cranks in my neck all the time, mainly because I'm always like, 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 like. I found for a fucking dollar a massager, you guys. This hurts. Woo, freedom. First of all, uh, I'm just not noticing this. The tag on the back says, this product contains DEHP, a blah, blah, blah chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, and other reproductive harm. So the one place that I would probably want to put this is the place that is not welcome. Got it. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the description 
of all the great things it does for your body, you know, besides cancer and reproductive harm, are great. Receive turd of the body. Also, don't forget that it has the best effect for housewa and office use. By all means, leisure the tight skin because it has the best effect for housewa and office use. Don't worry guys, it has an automatic tuxing switch. Best dollar I've ever spent. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, as tough as I am, I don't like to sleep in the pitch dark. Sometimes I need a nightlight. And the only thing that would make me feel safer than a nightlight in the middle of the night is a fucking bald eagle watching after me, shedding some light on the situation. I might be sleepy, but I'm still an American. My favorite part about this eagle, besides his just general symbolism for uh, the nation that I live in, is how he came in to that mountain face just feet first. He came in hot, you know, claws up, like, excuse me, I just landed, all right? Talk to the Talons, cause I, I'm gonna watch Jimmy Fallon. I'm really shocked that phrase never caught on. Let's plug this bad boy in. This nightlight is especially great if you are trying to go to sleep, but also just ate a bunch of mushrooms. For a mere 79 cents, I got this beautiful placemat. Now I can tell from the, uh, you know, like rubbery feature that it is a placemat and it's great for cleaning up spills. But I just thought, why not? I mean, I don't plan on getting married, but why not just buy it for 80 cents and in case that day comes, you've got a beautiful fucking veil that you spent nary a fucking dollar on. And these will come in handy on the wedding night. Slash, nope, because they shouldn't go anywhere near your skin. All right, so that's my $10 haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you also want to spend $10 but don't want to buy it on a bunch of bullshit, buy my book, You Deserve a Drink, whitehadbook.com. Also, it's $10 on Amazon right now, which it's a lot more useful and fun and less dangerous, apparently, than the shit that I bought. Bye.